So I thought it might be fun to make a quick little desktop image using Acorn, and I'm going to walk you through the steps to do that right now. First thing we want to do is do File New, and for our image, we want to choose a preset of the monitor resolution. Click OK. And it's going to come up really big because it's the size of your monitor. Um, you might want to work with it at half size. You can hit Command-5 to make it go to 50%. I'll just shrink that guy up some so we can see everything here. Um, the next thing you're going to do is choose uh, Filter, Quartz Compositions, Other, Defocus. And that'll bring up a fun little window here. And we're going to change the primary color from this gray to white. And for the secondary color, we're going to go to about 25% black. And we're also going to change it to use a hexagon. We're going to bump density way up. Um, size, adjust it a little if you want. And you can also play with the time slider to make something a little unique. I like it the way it is right now. I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to hide this. Next thing we want to do is create a new layer. And we're going to choose our gradient tool. And we're going to pick this rainbow looking color right here. And then I'm going to go to the left side of my image, click and drag, and I'm going to hold down the shift key, which will make sure that we have a perfectly horizontal gradient. Next, I'm going to change the blending from normal to overlay. And you'll see that draws over our previous layer pretty good. And then I'm going to choose a uh, layer, merge layer down, wherever that is, right there, Command E. All right, so we're, we're, we're getting going. I think we can make this a little bit better. Um, Next, I'm going to choose Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. And our window is going to come up. And I'm going to change the radius from 20 to 200. And I'm going to change the angle from 180 to 90. And that looks pretty cool. Let's hit Apply. Now I'm going to create another layer. And I'm going to use Edit Fill. And I'm going to bring up my color palette again. And uh, instead of this dark gray, I'm going to use something kind of uh, like a dark red. So just, Or you can use another color, but I'm just going to pick dark red. Click OK. And then we're going to move that to the background so that we got rid of those transparent areas. And I'm going to go ahead and merge that layer down again with Command E. All right. Uh, that looks pretty darn awesome, but I think we can keep on going and make it a little bit better. I'm going to go to a Filter. Stylize, uh, wait, sharpen, unsharp mask. And I'm going to bring the radius all the way up, and then I'm going to play with the intensity a little bit to sort of, I think that looks good right there. Hit apply. I'm going to create a new layer now. And I'm going to click on this gradient. It's got a transparent middle. So I'm going to click and drag out so we can get some darker edges. Then I'm going to adjust the opacity some, probably about 30%. And here's, here's a quick tip. Um, if you hit the 5 key, your layer's opacity will go to 50%. So if we hit the 3 key, we'll go to 30%. We could also type 5-5, um, five five, and it'll go to 55%, or we can just type 3-3, three three, or just 3. But I like it at about 30%. That looks good. Let's uh, merge that down, and I think this is looking pretty good. Um, what we can do then is right click on our canvas and say use image as desktop picture and ta-da, that's what we've got. It's a quick and easy way to make a nice desktop background. Um, for fun, we can uh, go to distortion effect and choose a uh, twirl distortion. This is kind of a neat little effect here. Let's drag that to the center, get a little uh, hurricane going in the middle of our desktop image. Make the radius bigger, adjust the angle a bit. Then we can also add a uh, hole punch. Let's see, a hole distortion. There we go. Basically punch a hole in the middle of our canvas and get something kind of interesting right there. Um, we could also take this hole distortion and move it before the twirl distortion so that when we move it around, oh, we can see that the hole is affected by the distortion. But, you know, just kind of fun to play with. And that is it.